Do you have concerns about your personal information being exposed online? Information such as your home address, date of birth, voting preferences, and more readily available with one search. Data Seal is the comprehensive data removal service I trust. I use it. So use the link below to receive 5% off of your Data Seal subscription and protect your family. So a neighbor of Michael and Kathleen stated that he had a theory because at autopsy this goes to evidence in Kathleen Peterson's hair they found a twig and they found microscopic feathers from an owl so this neighbor contends that she went outside at some point after she was inside doing the email went outside and was attacked by an owl I know it sounds absolutely crazy but don't dismiss it yet you have to hear everything out that's how you do investigations it's just because something seems crazy to you listen her falling down the steps as an accident and having that much blood immediately sounds crazy to me and you immediately start saying, nope, it's got to be murder. And then you start going down that route without even considering other options. That's not what true investigations are, are supposed to do. Okay? So, I know. I heard Al getting attacked by an owl. This much blood. Thinking crazy, but I'm like, oh, don't get crazy. Don't, don't. Stay focused, Kenny. Aphrodite, she obviously she doesn't believe in this owl theory, and that's what made me think of it because I discussed that with her one night at dinner. So, but I didn't know anything about this case when I had talked to her about it. When I heard of that, I thought, okay, it's crazy, but let's follow it out. She was attacked by an owl outside. Right? I mean, that's what they contended. Or that's what the contention is. There would be blood outside. Well, lo and behold, what did I find? Yes, they, there was a blood spot outside on the front patio. Entranceway. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe there's something to that. She had, I don't know how many, but a lot of her own hair from the roots in her hands as if she had ripped it out. So this neighbor who had the philosophy or the theory that it was an owl said that it was attacking her and she was pulling out her own hair. I know, you're laughing, but hey, you got to follow it out. If that owl did that, again, they're saying the, the trident type lacerations in the back of her head would be the claws. So, as a good investigator does, I want to know about owl attacks. So, I look into it. There have been people attacked by owls. But the injuries that they received were so minor compared to this. That you got to roll it out. All right, now you can laugh and say everything's crazy. But they had scratches. The attacks by the owls are territorial, okay? Just like a bird. You get close to the nest and the babies are in there. That bird will come by and swoop you. They're not attacking you. It's not a, it's not a grizzly bear. So based off of that, 
based off of, okay, microscopic owl feathers in her hair. And I'm not sure how many. There wasn't a lot. Might have been one or two. They have to be accounted for, okay? But if she was attacked by an owl, there would be more feathers. You're not talking microscopic. She would have grabbed the hold of that thing. She would have had feathers. There would have been feathers everywhere, okay? So now I can say that's the most asinine theory that anyone has ever come up with. I can understand you trying to come up with that theory initially based off of a twig in her hair, which bothers me, and microscopic feathers in there. Okay, let's let's look at that theory. But then once you look at it and say, no, wait a minute, there would be much other f feathers everywhere. She'd have feathers in her hand. It didn't happen, so we can't even talk about this being an owl attack. That's what you do. You don't continue to say that it's an owl attack. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs>